by default, though. Yeah. I mean, Eddie didn't even want to say that he really was sweet me. He's trying to brush that off. Swing pass to Jamal Miles. He has been the lone consistent offensive threat for Arizona State all night. Pickup of 18 yards. Talk about a player who's just making an even bigger impact than I think a lot of people expected going into this season. It's Jamal Miles. Watch right here, Evan Finkenberg. Get out there. Watch the block that he puts on the safety right there. Got an offensive lineman that deep in the secondary making blocks for his wide receiver. That's big time for Finkenberg. Jamal Miles, who had a career high nine receptions last week against USC, spins free of a tackler and goes to the 40 yard line. It has officially turned into the Jamal Miles show here in Tempe. When he's hot, just keep feeding him and feeding him and feeding him. Right there, he comes out of his shoes, puts a pretty wicked spin move on the linebacker, number 40, Michael Doctor. Watch this. Nice little spin. Michael Doctor comes out of his shoes. Lucky he didn't break his ankle. Yeah. Hello, Doctor. Right past him. 40 rushing yards, over 50 receiving. Had that long punt return for the touchdown. Second and seven. Osweiler toward the side to Aaron Flugrad. He breaks a tackle and goes into Oregon State territory. No question, a fan favorite, flu grab. Hearing the flus from the home crowd, the student section has been phenomenal all year long. Fourth home game for ASU. They have been out in force since game number one against UC Davis when it was about 148 degrees down on the field. Osweiler, play action, sidearm toss, and it's complete to A.J. Pickens, who had his first career touchdown earlier in the game. It was a heck of a throw by Brock. Watch this. They're going to bring pressure right up the gut, and the pocket just collapsed. Gets that little sidearm, slings it right in there in the tight coverage. I had a chance to talk to Brock Osweiler's dad earlier this week. He was in the car going from Kalispell, Montana to Denver on business. Caught him just outside of Albuquerque. But his dad is six foot four, and he said Brock passed him up in eighth grade. <laughs> the day that he got braces, he was taller than his six foot four father. Oh boy. Barreling Brock ahead carries. for first down yardage. Pickup of four, and uh, a great conversation with uh, his dad. John, who was uh, in the car, and said, you know, in third grade, chat, uh, he had a chat with his son. He said, if you want to make some goals, do it and do it early. So in third grade, Osweiler had a poster board in his room with his goals saying D1 football or D1 basketball. And he had his choice. He could have done either one. Well, that's outstanding. Good for his dad. Cameron Marshall, head on collision, still on his feet. A sensational touchdown run by Cameron Marshall. 37 yards. A snowplow in Tempe. Well, what an electrifying run. He gets a great block from the center, Cody Kabinski, who gets up on the linebacker. But watch how many tackles he breaks. Shoving off defensive linemen, safeties. Try and tackle him once. He breaks the tackle. You tackle him again. Cameron Marshall was not going to be denied on that run. What an excellent run with determination. Group. On for the extra point. Drills it straight through the middle. Six plays, 80 yards. Two minutes, 26 seconds. Cameron Marshall, one of the great runs you'll see. Running over Beavers. 